Hello there, everyone. Toy Game Collector here, bringing you another LEGO Star Wars set review. What am I looking at today? I'll be looking at the 2017 First Order Star Destroyer. This was released in 2018. Oh, 2017, sorry. For the movie Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. A movie that will forever live in infamy among Star Wars fans for different reasons. I actually liked the movie, but I'm not going to go too much into that. Now, before I go over anything, I guess you'll notice that there are some pieces that really shouldn't be there. Like, this white piece shouldn't be here, this shouldn't be brown under there. Well, the reason why the set looks like that is because I bought this used. Yeah. I bought this used last year, and it was missing some pieces, so I had to improvise to to get the pe get fully built, because I didn't feel like ordering new replacement parts. I wanted to get this done as soon as I could. And this took me around two days to build. Now, I remember seeing this ship come out in 2017. I remember feeling jealousy towards it, because I is I finally had money to spend on stuff like this, but I, I really wanted a Lego Imperial Star Destroyer. And it upset me that I couldn't get one, but here we had this. And it just wasn't the same. So I passed on it until last year when I decided I wanted to get some of those Last Jedi Legos. And, and boy, did some of that stuff go up in price. I got this for just around retail price, what I normally would have went for all the figures included. But of course, it was missing pieces, and I had to improvise to get some pieces to stick together. It was a frustrating build. I probably didn't build all of it correctly, but I'm happy with it. Before we go too in depth over the sets, let's look at the figures you got with it. You have some kind of first order droid, not sure what kind of that would be used for. But we have a first order officer. Let me get the camera to focus, yeah. Here we have the First Order Officer, mean-looking guy. He has a small blaster pistol. Here we have two First Order Stormtroopers. Yep, it's nice that you get two with them. Got a First Order Shuttle Pilot. We got BB-9E. Yeah, I remember all the merchandise that came out for this guy. I remember everyone was saying, oh, how he and BB are going to have this huge rivalry. They'll be in a big fight. Then I watched the movie, and he's like... Only in it for less than two minutes. Like, he really doesn't do too much. Yeah. That's BB-90. And we have Supreme Leader Snoke. At the time, I think this is the only way you could get this figure. So, I guess that made this set worth getting, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Of all these figures, I guess they my favorite would have to be the officer. I just like the look of the officers. Stormtrooper is a cool too. And I guess it's nice to have BB 9 e but the shuttle pilot, his helmet is like really weird. And Snoke, eh, it's not too important, I guess. Yeah, I remember he was supposed to be like this next big version of the Emperor, and, and well, if you've seen the movie, you know what happens to him. Let's go over the ship itself. Yeah, this is the ship. Now, the way it's built, there's a handle for it. You can see you pick it up, take it with you. Here's the back of the ship, there's the engines. Yeah, here we have some stud shooters. These are supposed to be green, but I didn't have enough green studs to fill them out. So they're red. On the other side, I have a couple green studs. Move all these figures aside, let's open this up. Now, how do you open this? Well, first you lift the bridge up. Then you take these parts apart. And here's just how it's built. And as you can see, there's definitely some parts that shouldn't be here, like this tan piece that wasn't part of it, or this yellow, or the orange, or some of these brown pieces. They're only there for extra clutch power to get this thing to hold back together properly. Yeah, because this thing was not fun putting together when it came to putting the wings on. Now here's the inside of the ship. Let's start at the top near the bridge. This is where Supreme Leader Snoke would sit. 
we have a little hologram. Normally that would be the Emperor, but since the Emperor's not around at this point, Supreme Leader Snoke will sit here, and I guess this could be Kylo Ren, and he's talking him to a hologram. Here we have a little elevator. I should go over this piece. This is the elevator. It would stick to these two holes right here. And this stud would take figures up and down to the top of the bridge here. The reason I don't have this piece connected is because these wings won't close yet. They won't close properly with it on. Yeah, and that's not fun. Right here, this is where the droid would go. The Whatever this droid is. Let me see if I can get him in there. Yeah, he's in. Now this is like where he would work or something. Over here we have like a small... There's a table and some chairs here. We can have some officers sit and discuss important work. Here we have the main bridge of the destroyer. And there's four seats, two on each side, with computer consoles for the crew members to do their work to make the ship run properly. You also have the catwalk bridges above the pits. Yep. That's for the crew members to go through. Here we have a little computer console. Yep. You can have your figures pretend they're working. And there's some stairs right here. Go up into the bridge. Yeah, there's really not too much else to say about it. It's a cool set. Now, had I given this a chance back in the day, I probably would have liked it. Yeah. But I'm glad I have it now. It's fun to have around. It's nice to have basically every Star Destroyer from every era of Star Wars. Have the Venator, have the Imperial, now I have this. Well, that about wraps up this look at the Imperial... I mean, the First Order Resurgence class Star Destroyer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. It's Toy and Game Collector, signing off.